Okay, let's nail down the letter D. <laughs> if you were with me for the letter B, the freebie, then you'll already know very much where we're going. I'm going to start out by holding my pencil or my, I, I'm saying pencil, you know what I mean, it's my pen, my double pencil technique, in the number four position so that I start out that initial curve fairly horizontal and then curve down to about seven, eight o'clock go back up to the top. Now I'm holding my pen at the normal three and a half or 30 degree angle, and I draw it straight down in line with the italics slant all the way to the bottom of the baseline and then kick out to the left. With me? And just as we did with the letter B, up here I'm gonna make my pen, see my wrist goes down a little bit, the pen comes up, so the only part of the pen in contact with the paper is that bottom corner. So we get a nice discreet line. We go up to the top of the letter, then lay the pen down and do a nice large curve all the way down to the baseline. Again, just as in the letter B, hmm, seems to me there's something missing. Right, we come in with one more line, holding our pen now at the traditional angle and draw straight across till it connects with that base. And there is a very fine D, if I have to say so myself. <laughs> I should have practiced this one a lot because my name is Dan, so i done. You can calligraphy your own name. Do you know that? That's legal. When nobody's looking, just, just do it. Lowercase d. Here's the stem of the lowercase d. Come straight down, ends straight. I don't think there's any little hook on there. But at the top, there's a flag. So I come back and draw my pen to the right and then I begin the loop of the letter D nice and relaxed come down to the bottom and start going up and at this point I start lowering my wrist so that my pen comes up if you will in that wheelie position I call it it's only touching on that bottom corner so that this line right here is nice and discreet nice and thin let's try that now with a felt tip marker first of all the initial curve comes down to the seven or eight o'clock position, straight down now to the base and kick out to the left. Here I make my letter, my, make my pen stand on its hind legs, <laughs> and then a nice gracious curve all the way to the baseline, and then one more line from left to right, and I'm done with the D lowercase d, the stem first, then the flag, and then the loop, and again pull up my pen so it's just making that fine line, there's a letter D. Now let me go to the pen, the calligraphy pen, the pen that we love and hate <laughs> because it does the best lines but it's the most finicky to work with. Here we go. Got a piece of paper there to make sure it's behaving. There we go. Okay, the top curve. I begin by going straight, and this is really important. Don't don't let your uh, this initial curve. Don't let it start going downhill immediately. It'll look droopy. So s start out by going straight across, and then you begin the curve. See straight across, and then the curve. There we go. Then the stem all the way to the baseline and kick out to the left. Now I get to pop a little wheelie so my pen is just writing on that one corner and then do a nice curve down to the base and one more straight line. There we go. Lowercase d, the stem first of all, straight to the baseline. Come back up here and do that flag. Do it twice if you need to with a dip pen and then the arc, the curve. And there I've run out of ink, so I'm going to have to get some more, make sure my pen is behaving, and start that, start that loop again. Here we go. There, it worked. And then, again, I bring my pen up on that one corner. We want to pay attention to the shape of that little, uh, that TP shape, that A shape right there, to make sure there's enough air to make it friendly. Now, what happens if the letter D is uh, it, you want to connect it to the next letter. Let me draw that real quickly. Here's a D. Here's the flag. Here's the loop. Very simple. You add a leg here 
so it comes up and is ready to join to the next letter. I would think the D very easily and naturally connects to the next letter. You understand the rule in chancery is that not all the letters need to connect. Some of them connect more easily than others. And D is one of those that connects fairly easily. So go for it if it seems like it fits in your artistic construction. Finally, what if the letter D is the last letter in a line of text? then the place usually to do that flourish from is from the bottom of the D. You will discover that sometimes you can do things from the top, from the flag, but most of the time, I don't think that's going, to, it, it, you can try it and say, hmm, have I desecrated, <laughs> have I damaged the D? Does it no longer look like a D, but it looks like something funny? And of course, with both loops on there, it looks very funny indeed. But I think most of the time, you're going to want to do your flourish and if you're, if you're hearing me rightly, you're understanding that these flourishes are very much an artistic license. You do what seems appropriate to you. They're not necessary. They're not, you don't have to do them by any means. But I think I would do my flourish like that. Way to go. That's the letter D. We're rolling right along.